hi welcome back my name is Viviana I am from Romania I really gotta change my intros because I feel like I'm teleporting back into the briefing room if you don't know me I am a ex-flight attendant uh, I worked as a flight attendant for four years and a half I never made a story about it maybe I'll make a little story about it but basically I have a lot of funny things that happened to me while I was flying. I could, someone told me, oh my God, you could write a book. You have so many stories. I do. <laughs> so today I'm gonna tell you the craziest story that happened to me in my flight ever. I had a lot of them, but this, this one was special. So, Brisbane flight, it's a 14 hour flight. I was dead inside. All I wanted was to do the last service, land and Never think about the flight again. So I'm coming from the middle of the cabin, the lavatory. I see in the back, the cart is ready to go for service. So the manager on board decided to close all the cabin lights so the people can sleep, right? So they can rest, so they can have a nice nap before they land and everything. And I see the cart and I'm like, me, cart, me, cart, me, cart. Service, land, sleep. I'm going towards the cart with this idea in my head and I'm catching speed. And someone left their black backpack in the middle of the aisle. Can you guess what happened next? You are not ready for what happened next. I trip over this black backpack. My left knee goes straight into a guest that's sleeping, goes straight into his eye. I hit him. I ricochet on my right side. My shoe comes flying over my head. The guy is like, ah! I still remember the feeling. It's like this little smooshy feeling. Oh, slimy. Bam! I hit the floor. She's screaming on all fours. I'm like pissed. I am upset. I'm looking for my shoe. Now imagine the worst Romanian cursings. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> I'm looking to see what the heck would, did I hit, right? I'm looking and I see the, the couple of seats in front, the guy who had the black backpack, he's like... I saw that. I thought he was sneaky, but I saw him. I get up from the floor, like, sir, are you okay? You know, the guy is like, God, what? What happened? Sir, I'm so, so sorry, but someone left their black backpack in the middle of the aisle. So the guest is like, oh, okay, I see, I see. Are you okay? I ask him again. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Very nice, very nice gentleman. He could have been. Could have sued. So I'm like in my head, I just like on the land, on the land. I took my, I went straight for the cart, started the service, and we're starting the service from the back, going to the front, right? And by the time I reach the guy that I hit, it's been like 20 minutes or so. So I, I reach the guy. His eye was black. Now I'm freaking out. My brain is like, oh, you in trouble now? You in trouble now? Hmm. Sir, are you okay? <laughs> you know, what, the, what can you do, you know? And he's like, yeah, I'm okay. Lady next to him is like, I don't think he's okay. I don't think he's okay. Cool. I'm sweating at this point. I'm stressed. I gave him the full water, whatever. Try my best to be as nice as I could because, you know. I reached the guy who had the black backpack. He's just sitting there guilty, you know, looking guilty as F. You wanna eat? Give him food, I gave him some water. And I couldn't shut up, because <laughs> me. I was like, sir, never, ever. Leave your black backpack in the middle of the aisle. Look what you did to that gentleman. Look at his eye. Look at, this is all your fault. <laughs> Flight's finished. Everything is okay. No one complains. We're in the bus, because uh, they take the crew from the aircraft to the airport. So I'm thinking, Phew, I am off the hook. That was a close one. And then I hear the cabin manager. She was sitting there and she saw everyone that was leaving. And she was like, did you guys see that guy with the black eye? Me in the back. Did 
you guys see him? Was he was he black before? I don't remember. Me. Did you guys see anything? No one saw anything. So basically no one ever found out about this until today. <laughs> and some of my friends who know the story. There's two things that I want you to take away from this. One, if you're ever in this kind of situation, you're a flight attendant and you have any kind of situation where injuries happen, you must provide first aid. Do not do what I did. <laughs> Just take my example. Don't do it, okay? You must provide first aid. That's your main job. You're there for safety, not service. Safety, not service. Safety! Not service. Second of all, never ever leave your black backpack in the middle of the aisle. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, for those of you who came for the home, house to home series, do not worry, I'm working on it. It just takes longer. I was filming even today some things, but Romania and money and volcanic problems. <laughs> Right, thank you so much and have a good one. Bye.